Hey guys, this is going to be a quick video because I still don't have my tripod. Oh, look at there. That is a Darius Cook's, um, not a slow cooker, but a pressure cooker, rice cooker. It's like a multi-cooker. I'm going to give you guys a review on that. I just opened it yesterday. I've had it for a few months, but, um, some stuff I don't like. I, I unbox it, but then I was like, well, it's a learning curve on it. So I wanted to see how it worked and everything. So um, I'll give you guys a review on that later, but this is what I'm going to do. I'm not doing anything much. I'm having a snack today and, um, right over here, I have some, uh, this is hot. I have some tamales that I just steamed and this is not traditional, but I actually like enchilada sauce with my tamales and I know it's not traditional, but I don't have any enchilada sauce. And I don't feel like making any, but I'm going to make some quick tamales, you know, some quick um, enchilada sauce. And it's not traditional, it's not how you make it, but it's what you can do in a pinch. So I'm going to show you guys something really quick. I have in here a little bit of uh, avocado oil, probably about, not even a tablespoon, about two teaspoons. And then I put about two tablespoons of butter in here, okay? And... Usually, it's like 10 to 12 ingredients for enchilada sauce, but this is something you can do in a pinch. Okay, so people that make enchilada sauce, don't come for me. This is just something really quick. Hold on. Okay, guys, now that that is all melted, I'm going to add some chili powder. Um, I'm going to say about a tablespoon and a half, maybe a little bit more, maybe... And I'm just going to cook that in this chili powder. Oh, you know what? Hold on. I need to get a little bit of flour. Okay, guys. I put a little bit more. Hold on. Make sure it ain't burning. I put a little bit more chili powder. And then this is some tomato paste. A couple tablespoons of tomato paste. down a little bit and then I'm going to add a little bit of flour we're going to see how it come out y'all that's just kind of thicken it up and then I have I'm going to cook that off for about a minute or two hold on okay guys then I'm going to Add some chicken broth and incorporate that in. Let me get a whisk. Okay, guys, I got a whisk. And you're just going to keep whisking it till you get all those lumps out. It's a little bit thick. I'm going to add either some more chicken stock. Or chicken broth or a little bit more or a little bit of water I added some water so I think I had enough chicken and then you're in a season to taste um, I'm just gonna add a little bit of seasoning because that chicken stock has a, a lot of salt in it and then you know add a little pepper your all-purpose seasoning or whatever taste it to see if you got the taste you want and that is a quick cheat enchilada sauce and I'm going to put it over some um, enchiladas so give me a second not enchiladas but um, some tamales okay guys so that is it for my quick tip to make a quick enchilada sauce not authentic but it'll do and it tastes good and these are the only thing I used I used a little bit of flour, some tomato paste, some chili powder, and some chicken um, broth or stock. And I just mix some of this with some water. That's how I made my chicken stock. So let me show you what it looks like. Okay, guys, that's what it looks like over the tamales. And like I said, not traditional. Usually you don't put this on tamales, but growing up, my mother used to put it over tamales. So I actually like it. And which one is this? I think one of them's chicken and one of them's a cheese one. I think this is the chicken one. So let me taste this 
Yeah, that's the chicken one with the sauce for you guys. I threw some cheese on there, you guys see? Yep. Hit the spot. And then when you make your own or something like this, you don't have to worry about it being too spicy. Sometimes enchilada sauces can be a little spicy for my take for my taste. Love it. Let me try the cheese one. And this, the the one with the chicken, this um lady was selling and my my husband bought it and um that's what that and it, she makes them good they're delicious but these cheese ones are from trader joe's and they're really good they taste pretty authentic mm. delicious quick that that sauce probably took about maybe five eight minutes it didn't even take that long okay the longest thing it takes is to cook the flour off which takes about a couple minutes but Quick, quick, quick. And I had threw this through the um tamales in the steamer and went and laid back down. Tamales was frozen, so it took about 35, 30 minutes. Yeah, 30, 35 minutes. We're really really quick. And then I made this little sauce. I thought about it when it got done. I was like, you know what? I want a little enchilada sauce on there. So this is just a quick tip. Easy, fast. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you try it. And does it taste enough like Enchilada sauce to let you do it again because actually I've done this a few times and I always like it. All right. If you haven't subscribed, I would like you to subscribe, like, comment, share, everything. All right. You guys have a great day. Bye. Let you get another good look at this sauce. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Very good.